Hello everyone, welcome to my Paravi beginner tutorial. So in the last video we created the slice and we continue from there. So in this video we are, we are going to create the streamlines. So if in the last video if we had this, this show plane active, so I just deactivated it and I just moved the legend down here so nothing else is different. So now I am going to apply the streamlines. So to apply the streamlines just select uh, the slice where you want to apply it and then you select the stream tracer so in the stream tracer by default the stream stream uh, lines are usually applied to the vectorial field in our case it's uh, going to be velocity and we just said select the velocity and then for the integrated type let's select negative uh, 4 and the direction we do both uh, select both by default so we keep uh, everything and default and then we change them later so I'm going to remove also this compute vorticity because I'm not interested in that also here well now it's showing the seed so point source which is a single point and then it has some radius and let's say we want to create move this point to the center of the cylinder and let's create a radius which is uh, half of the height of this channel which is 0 0.205 and then let's apply so what it does is it creates randomly the point inside the sphere so it takes hun hun place under points and it forms only one of the point which belong to the domain and then it creates this uh, streamline for that so if you increase this let's say 10,000 then you will see some more lines appear and if you increase even further you get more but it's pretty hard to work with this because it's you have to keep on increasing until you find enough points within your domain so the alternate is you replace the point source with a line source so we're going to replace with a high resolution line source and we're going to keep activate the slice keep it active okay so you see the line by default goes on the, uh, across the channel so what I'm going to do is just put it in the y-axis the middle and I will apply first so I'll also reduce the number of uh, points in the, la in the line so let's say 30 so we see the streamlines yeah, and the streamlines are colored by pressure at the moment so we can also change it to solid color if you want to slice it or you can change it to velocity if you want yeah. okay so uh, what you see here is now only few of the points in the streamlines the problem is actually we have a multi-level mesh uh, different element size and it doesn't find the points in the final elements so that's the real problem so what I'm going to do is as a workaround uh, is just going to move this line to the coarser element side keep it away from the fine elements okay and uh, yeah okay let's apply yeah so that looks better than before so now we have some points going over the domain so actually the points which are only connected uh, between the two element sizes are on, only there you get this continuous streamlines okay so uh, we can create to have we see there are so many places we don't have a nice streamline so if you want to have a nice streamlines so then you better make multiples of the streamlines uh, filter so i'm going to uh, select slice again and then select stream tracer again and then do everything as before so I put a 4 and then I select the line source and in the y-axis now I'm going to move this line towards the inlet okay. so if you noticed I just moving along a x and y direction 
and since we are working only in 2D, if you don't want to change this uh, y axis, uh, the value in the z direction, then you could even make this uh, interactive to 2D mode. It's a more safer if you are working in the 2D domain. Okay, now just apply. Oh, I forgot to change the number of resolution. It's okay. Let's have a look. Okay, you see we have a lot more points. So set it to the same 30. That looks better. I can also change this to velocity. Okay, so remove this. Okay, so now I just want to show you something about this um, integrated direction. So if you, because we are putting a uh, streamline source at this point, so what it take is to check velocity at each of these some um, points in this line. And then try to uh, find its path in both of its direction. So if you select only forward, then you get streamlines only on the positive side. Yeah, as you see here. And if you select backward, then you get only on the negative side. So only on the front. So, but we want to have on both sides. Also, if you have a very long domain and it, uh, if you want to increase the, uh, the stream length, you have to have a length as long as you want. In this case, the length is up to uh, the length of the domain. So, if you see, if I decrease this, then the streamlines will not go, will, will be a bit shorter. So, you see here, the streamlines did not, does not go until the inlet. So, I am going to increase it back. Okay, so so far good. So still uh, we don't see the streamlines um, behind the cylinder. So we can make another streamline closer to the cylinder. Okay. Select the high resolution line and again I'm going to make it in Y axis. <coughs> I'm just going to move this line a little bit across and see how it is. Okay. So you see, uh, here we have much more smaller elements, and at this smaller elements, this slice at this uh, that value doesn't work. So we have to make exact middle. Which is 0 0.064. So let's also decrease the points here. Resolution. Yes. So now we got it. <coughs> so now we have the, also the steam lines behind the cylinder. So if you think this is too much, then we can reduce it, let's say, just to 10. Mm, let's say 15 okay looks good we could make one more to have some lines in this area so let's do that so I'm going to do the same as before I'm just going to place the line And I'm going to have also just 10 points. Okay, okay. We have to change the Z dimension. Aha, uh -huh. good. So let's give a color to velocity and remove the vorticity calculation. Yeah, that's it. So we have now the streamlines for this test case. So there are a few more things you can do here. It's like you can remove this uh, show line if you don't want to see this line all the time. And we click the stream tracer. If you are finished with creating it, then you can just remove it. 
So another nice thing you can do is you can increase the size of the line. So if you just scroll down to the settings, here you have this line width. If you just increase it to two, then we have much more thicker lines. So just go to all of them. So the streamlines is more about you have to uh, experiment on your, on your own. So you have to apply it on different places and see whether it covers all your domain. So one more thing you could do is if you have a three-dimensional domain, then you could convert this line into a three-dimensional uh, tube. So just go to filter and then you can say apply tube filter it's just apply then you basically get three dimensional tube yes so they are pretty nice if you are really working on the three dimensional test case but in our case we have only a two dimensional domain so i just remove this okay okay so now we have finally the nice streamlines which almost covers most of the domain and just one more hint so before you save the file make sure you disable the line so which is basically the disable the show line here and also if you even keep that show line you can also select some other uh, filter before you save it then you will not get this line in a saved file so now uh, we could overlay the streamlines with our background slice so we, in the background we have pressure so we can change it to velocity and yeah so now this looks much better so you could have uh, streamlines and also the background both colored and or you can prefer if you prefer you can have the background solid color or the streamlines to solid color so I'll choose any color you like, so it's individual choice. Okay. So in the next video, I will show you how to create uh, glyphs. And if you like this video, please click like icon below and press the bell icon to subscribe to this channel for more Paravi videos and showcase videos of Apes simulation framework. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.